So we're here with the Danish uh, Technological Institute. So who are you? I'm Leif Christensen. I'm director for the center at DTI. And uh, who are you? Yeah, my name is Zachary uh, Davis. I'm uh, also a senior researcher at uh, DTI. So what's going on at DTI? So uh, basically what we're doing at DTI is uh, development of nanomaterials for printed ap electronics applications. So in this case uh, we are... Yeah. So basically uh, we are doing all the way from uh, basic process development of uh, so trying to figure out what uh, what types of nanomaterials are needed and trying to develop those materials to scaling up, uh, uh, researching and developing methods to produce in small but also scale up the production uh, for large scale production, maybe tons a year uh, of, of these type of nanomaterials. So what's going on at the DTI? Uh, what are we looking at in the video there? <coughs> yeah, what, what we show here is the uh, part of this uh, supercritical reactor system to produce nanomaterials. So what you see there, ah, it goes too fast maybe, but uh, you see some of the chemicals coming out here. And I think we'll, we'll go out a little bit so we can see more of this, maybe come to the situation where it's finished with little look. And uh, this, is a, this is a catalyst materials produced. Here's a, one of our guys that, and a lady also, that produce these kind of materials here. So we can produce a lot of different things with this reactor. Uh, you can make uh, catalyst materials for, for fuel cells. You can make catalyst materials for diesel uh, uh, exhaust system for diesel trucks. And uh, you can use it for printed electronics. There's a lot of different things you can do. So what's going to happen with printed electronics? What are you going to do with that? Well, uh, right now we are developing, uh, we, have, we have developed a little bit nano silver for, for uh, silver based things, but also heavily uh, investing a lot of money and effort into nano copper. Because uh, uh, the idea is that if you can make a, a conductive ink out of copper instead of silver, uh, that's just as good performance wise electrically, then you can do it in a very cheap way. So replacing uh, silver could, could with copper could, uh, could lead to very cost-effective uh, printed electronics, which is one of the main challenges that a lot of the industry are, is, is facing, is the price, how, uh, to reduce the price of, of uh, production of these printed electronical systems. So. so how do you do that kind of, is it research? Uh, we're doing both research but also innovation, so uh, development towards, uh, and, and all the way up to commercialization with uh, companies. So uh, typically a company comes to us with, uh, with a, a challenge. Uh, we try to map out what, what, what options are, do, are there for, for solving that challenge and then help them in collaboration with them to, to solve these challenges, right? So going all the way from, from uh, and that could be from a, a concept, uh, so we do the basic research uh, or taking some other existing research and then develop that into something that's, that the, the company can use in a, in a, a market. So, uh, what's your experience uh, in, in the industry? Uh, Danish Technological Institute is doing a lot of stuff and uh, ready to be at the front, leading edge of nanotechnology. We, uh, if we'll be the leading edge, it has to be proven, of course. But uh, we do a lot of work, and uh, we do a lot of research. We also engaged in Horizon 2020 projects with European companies and also European universities. So we have to collaborate to bring things up. And it takes some time, we guess that three or five years before we have the ink ready for that. So three or five years yeah, could, uh, be. could be. Yeah. And then uh, what happens then? You work with companies and they ship it? How does, or you ship it, or how does it well, work? Well, that, that's different, right? I mean, uh, we, can, uh, we can, of course, produce the materials ourselves and, and give them the raw materials to make uh, nano inks. Uh, we can also uh, develop processes and, and license those processes together with a, a ink reactor or a nanomaterial reactor, which they can buy. So that we're very flexible in that, in, in depending on, on the needs of the company, the needs of the industry, right? If they want to buy, just buy the material, we can sell the material. Or if they want to have it in-house, then we can also do that, develop that. So what do you think about the, the ID Tech X, the print electronics uh, industry and it's, what's going on here? It's quite interesting for us to come here and see all the things that are presented here, but also have an opportunity to present something that uh, we have created in, in Copenhagen. And uh, we think we'll be the next time as well in uh, Berlin next year in April. So a lot of activity happening with printer electronics, right? And yes. with all the other events happening right here. We have right been here. around, worked, walking around to see things and discuss with us. There's a lot of people there. A lot of applications, very yeah. broad. I mean, 
And that's one of the things we really want to do is to see, you know, other companies, what they are doing, whether, can they use this technology, what type of, spe you know, what specifications do they have, and you know, what needs do they have for this type of technology so we can actually, you know, adapt what we're doing to, 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 to fit the needs of the companies, right? So it's very important to, to, to talk to these companies and see what's happening.